Joining us with a closer look at investing in space is Mark Bell. He is the founder, president, and CEO of Mark Bell Capital. It's been listed as a top 10 VC investor in space technology. And Mark, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So you first got hooked when you were 10 years old. You saw Star Trek for the first time. Yeah, I was became a Trekkie and uh, only dreamed of a space ever since. And where are we now? How far have we come in that time? I mean, we have seen it explode. I mean, space has become economical. It's become affordable. I mean, things that you can, couldn't do 20 years ago are now doable. I mean, look at what's happening today. I mean, you know, Virgin Galactic is the first company that's going to go out there and put the average citizen into space. Are it's you going to sign up? Already, already, already on the waiting list. You've already put down your deposit? Uh, I'm waiting to hear back. L let's talk about what your biggest investment is. Our biggest investment is in a company called Terran Orbital. I mean, we manufacture, design, manufacture satellites for the government, uh, many governments, and it is just an incredible opportunity. Things you couldn't do before, uh, like synthetic aperture radar, which is one of our key things, or space situational awareness, you know, kind of um, things as mapping out space, or uh, imagine looking at, through the clouds and never losing a ship, never losing a plane, imaging 24-7, imaging at night. Um, that's the future. And that's what SAR gives us. Um, in terms of sort of ranking how you, you look at this whole world, who, who's doing well and who's behind, I don't know if you saw these comments from Gwen Shotwell on Friday. She was at the Ron Barron conference, and she was taking shot after shot after shot at Blue Origin. This is Jeff Bezos' operation, saying <coughs> that they are three years ahead, that these guys are so far behind. I mean, she was just sort of, it was like uh, a drive-by shooting at everybody. Um, are they that much, is SpaceX that far ahead relative to everybody else? I mean, SpaceX has done phenomenal. Elon Musk has, you know, created, uh, given everyone hope that it can be commercialized, that you can go out and launch, you know, many satellites at once. And, uh, and it's giving everyone like us an opportunity to launch lots of satellites and launch them on a regular basis. But are basis. they that much more ahead than everybody else? Is there anybody that's even in league? I mean, if, if you listen to what she was saying, you would think that, you know, th there was no competition in this space. You know, the, the big defense contractors, the Boeings, the Lockheed, like ULA, for example, you know, has limited launches. Uh, but SpaceX is just doing it over and over again. It's amazing. So the answer is yes. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm curious, though, because you mentioned you're invested in a satellite company. That's a big part of the space market as it currently exists. And then you can talk about, you know, launch services, SpaceX, ULA, some of the others that are developing rockets right now. But in terms of space tourism, it seems like it's a little more niche in terms of the size of the market. Uh, how are you thinking about it? And would you invest in a company like Virgin Galactic? You know, we, we believe space tourism is opening people's eyes. You know, it's, it's bringing it to the average consumer. I mean, maybe a high-end consumer. But now people can dream, people who dreamt of going to space now can actually do it. And that gives people hope. And it is just like the original moonshot. You know, everybody watched people land on the moon. And that first step Neil Armstrong took, you know, gave people hope. And that's what Virgin Galactic's doing. It's that's showing that it's doable. But at $250,000, it's not doable for most people who will be able to do this. It, it, you think the price point will come down over time? Or is this always going to be a really ritzy kind of show it off to the few people who have that much money to put forward. Price point has to come down over time. It's like anything else. The first cell phone costs how much money versus what it costs today. It is just uh, the more more people will get into it, like Blue Origin and other companies, other startups will happen, and it will become like airfare. You know, it, uh, the prices come cheaper and cheaper. Back to Morgan's point, would you invest in a company like that right now? But we always look at things. We're all about companies that want to make money today. I mean, we're looking at pro companies that will be profitable, and we believe, you know, manufacturing satellites for low-Earth orbit is a business that's profitable today. Constellations could sell their data today, and the cost of a satellite, like this satellite I brought with me here today, this is a million dollars to build, but it could generate, satellites this size can generate revenues that more than exceed its cost. So no on space tourism right now? Not yet, but it's coming. <laughs> okay.